Chris Abani, a poet who was born in Nigeria and lived there until 2001, has won many awards for his books of fiction in both Nigeria and the United States. He visited Central Lakes College in Brainerd to tell a story and shed more light on poetry. Reporter Hanky Hazelton has more. The Visiting Poet program at Central Lakes College, called Verse Like Water, is gaining traction. They have set a record with six area high schools in attendance to hear poet Chris Abani speak. We have 200 seats filled before we even get in there, and we're very happy to be greeting uh, Crosby, Pillager, Long Prairie, Gray Eagle, Nevis. A majority of the students are listening to poetry reading for the first time, and Professor Johnson hopes they understand how impactful the words spoken can be. We misteach poetry, I think, in American English classes in high school. Billy Collins said that high school classes install something that he calls anti-poetry deflector shields. And I'd like to see those dismantled today, or at least some of them, by Chris Abonte. With much to learn from poetry, Chris Abani spoke of one word that comes out of Zulu from the South African culture. It's a very interesting worldview. So Ubuntu basically says, uh, it is possible for me to be human because you're human. And so the idea is that we learn how to be human by observing each other and by imitating what we're shown. Chris also compares the word buntu to the form of musical art. There's nobody who hears good music and then doesn't dance because they didn't like who made the music, right? You, your body just does what it does. It's the same with poetry, same with painting, you know. Nobody's heard a good drum beat and sort of been like, well, I, I, I don't know if I like that because of, nobody has that reaction. That, that comes later. He emphasizes that in poetry and life, the most important thing is to have fun and to fail. I use that word not in the way people think of as, oh, failure, but simply, you know, you gotta learn to walk. Everybody falls down. So that's the important thing. Expect to fall down, but expect to have fun doing it and anything is possible. With the hopes of inspiring young and old throughout his career, Chris wants the audience to see poetry for more than just words on paper. I want them to feel churched, if that's the right word to use, to feel like they have connected with a vital part of themselves that perhaps they didn't even know they were carrying around. Reporting in Brainerd, Hanky Hazelton, Lakeland News. Chris Abani's work has also been translated into many different languages, including French, German, Swedish, Romanian, and Hebrew. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.